It's time to beat the clock. Lights of Broadway, sights of Broadway, sounds of Broadway all around. And there above shines the Pennsylvania, pioneering light, sight, and sound. Finer products, better products, tested quality. Made for you by Pennsylvania, pioneer for half a century. Beat the clock. Brought by Sylvania, beat the clock to entertain you. It's time to play Beat the Clock. And now here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Carter. for big time prizes. Now, to come over here with me, you and I will both meet our first contestants. Hello. What is your name? Jane Sykes. Jane, would you step in just a little closer Hello? so we can hear you in these microphones? Ken's got to be close because he's so high <laughs> above him there. Uh, Kenneth, is that it? That's right. And your last name is? Sipe. Sipe, S-I-P-E. You live in Louisville, Kentucky. You're in the paint business. That's have your right. own business, Ken? No, no, I'm a plant superintendent. How long have you been married? Four years today. What about children? No children. Today is your anniversary. That's right. May I wish you many happy returns. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to explain to you that we have our bonus running again. I don't know if you've seen the show yes, lately, have. but we have the new one, you know, with the pot and the bowl. Yeah. You have to go catch it. for $300 tonight, and whoever happens to be the person who is at our microphone at the time that the bell rings, they're the lucky ones to get to try for that bonus. Now, that bonus is strictly extra. It doesn't stop the clock you're working at or anything else, but we'll find out about that as we go along. In the meantime, let's see how active your husband is. Is he pretty athletic? Yes. He is. I think you better take your jacket off, Ken, if you don't mind. Hang it over the hook we have provided over there. I think you'll be glad that you did when you see what we're going to have you do. <laughs> All right, this is for the $100 clock. Just come right on over here with me, Ken, if you will. And Madeline is going to give you a football helmet. I advise you to let her put it on you because it's covered, as you notice, the top is covered with spikes. Little sharp tacks. And there's a reason for that. The reason is back here. The reason is these balloons. You see, now here's what you have to do. You have to stand here and bat these balloons high, wide, and handsome, as high and as far as you can, and then get around there before it hits the ground, and without touching it with your hands, break it on the top of that helmet. Do you understand? Right. And then when you get over there, if you miss it, we'll give you one from that side, toss it back over this way. But toss it and hit it out as far and as high as you can. Give yourself plenty of time. Do you understand? Right. That's mm -hmm. the idea. Now break two of them uh, the next, from one side to the other, you know, back and forth. You don't have to come back here each time. In how many seconds? Let's take a look. Two balloons in 50 seconds from the time we say go. Now, we're going to make it a little easier for you so you don't wear your legs out. We have a special little locomotion for you over here, a little <laughs> item that we think will make it a lot more fun. Now, if you'll sit down on that just a minute, Jeff. Yeah? That's the idea. Now, you just move around. See how it goes. Try a little bit. Go ahead. That's the idea. Okay. Can you work it all right? Okay. Now, you can stand up to hit the ball. It gives you a little higher start there. Hit right. the balloons over. And then sit right down the chair and get around there fast. Now, wait a minute until I say go. you got 50 seconds to break two balloons. Are you ready? Go! Get around there, boy. Come on. Get around there fast. Get another one. Try another one. Here we go. Take another one. Good and far. Come on, King. Get around here. Quick. Come on. Take your coat off, boy. Right, you really had to right. kind of scramble around. That gives you a little okay. bit of a workout, though. Gets you warmed up. Give for him all, all of them. Let him <laughs> do all say? of them. He's the best. He's the best? How did you train your wife to say <laughs> things like that, Jen? I'd like to talk to you a minute after the show. We'll find out what your $200 clock problem is in just a... All right. We got your husband all duped out there. Look at that. How about that? Hey! The bonus! Come on, bring out the bonus, girls. Here we are, I tell you. These girls are very fragile. That's why they have to carry this out on that big table. Thank you very much, Betty and Madeline. Now, I guess you know what the, what the gimmick is, but I'll explain to our audience. What has to happen is you have to catch the little tennis ball in the little pan so that it is in the pan like that. It must rest there. If it rolls in and then rolls out again, that's no good. It's got to go in there and sit there. Just stay there. The only difference in the way I demonstrated it, of course, and the way you do it, is that you have to hold the pot by this little string holding it by the loop. 
Now, you can't roll the string up on your hand. You've got to hold it by the length of the loop, you see. And just move along after that ball. And if you get it in there so that it stays in with the pot sitting on the floor, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Got the idea? Can't, of course, touch the pot or the ball with your feet or any other part of your body or use your other hand. Hold it in your hand. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right. Okay, boy, get a hold of that loop there. Take a look at the clock. See how many seconds you have. 45. Are you ready? Okay. Go. $300 in cash, boy. How to get it stay? I advise you to keep it on the ground. Get it down on the ground if you can, because then it'll stay there. If you pick it up, it'll fall right out. That's the right idea, boy. Right idea. Oh, and rolling off the channel five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a close one, I'm telling you. You really worked hard on that. For a guy that hasn't practiced it, too, you had the right idea. suspiciously like somebody's been trying this at home. You were getting free advice there. People <laughs> tell you just advice. how to do it. Apparently it was. That seems it's to be the idea. It looks, yes, it is. <laughs> a little bit tricky, but it, it'll happen. It's worth $400, of course, next week. And as more and more people practice at home, I guess they'll get more free advice. All right. Now, uh, do you play golf at all, Ken? Yes, sir. How's your score? I have a six handicap. Oh, hey, that's all right. You play golf, too? Yes, I do. Well, then I guess you both. So this is a golf stunt, this next one. If you, for the $200 clock, will you both come over here with me, please? Let's bring out our golf course over here, our miniature golf course. Well, say, what are you girls doing up there? <laughs> All right, sir, if you will step up right in back there, Madeline will show you how to get ready for uh, making a hole-in-one, which is what we call this little stunt. This is a hole-in-one. And you can stand alongside of me, if you will, right here, Mrs. Sipe. That's the idea. Zip him up good. Don't want him to catch cold. Put the shower cap on. That's in case the wind blows. It doesn't blow that long hair of yours down your eyes. You understand, Ken? You can if you want to. Sure, be comfortable. All right. Now, here is a little golf ball. Now, this is not the ordinary type of golf ball. This is a soft golf ball, you see, so it won't hurt in any way. This is the tee. Your husband wants you to tee the ball up for him so that it sits up there like that. You understand? Now, you've got to be careful because if it falls off there, we have a whipped cream hazard, you see? A whipped cream hazard. And if the ball falls off, you have to retrieve it, and you can't use your hands. You have to go after it with your key, you see? Take the ball out again, get it back, I'll take it from you, and we'll start teeing up again. Now, we figured that the best thing to play this particular game with, uh, the best club we could think of, was a spoon. So would you bring out the spoon, please? Uh, there, it's a spoon right here. There we are. Now, if you'll step back just a little way, that's about it, right about there. And I'm going to place the ball in the spoon, and when I say go, using only that spoon and not crawling up on the handle here too far, uh, you tee it up there. If you tee it up, well, then he's all right. But if you don't, you'll have to go get it, and you keep trying it until you get it teed up. In how many seconds? Sylvania clock says 40 seconds from the time I say go. You ready? Go. We'll take a picture, one of our Sylvania Super Flash Flash Bones for you. Blue dot for sure shot, that'll be a little record for you after the show. You come back over here with me, because, Miss Sipe, you have to carry on now for the family. Now, if you'll step down that far end of the platform here, I'll explain to you that behind this curtain is our big magic jackpot board. It is also magnetic. On it are the words of all the words of a famous saying or quotation, but they're all scrambled up out of order. They're held there by magnetism, but you can move them around on the board, and I want you to, because I want you to unscramble the words so that they spell out reading from left to right the famous saying or quotation we're after in 20 seconds from the time I say go. Understand? Okay. Open the curtain. Step up on the platform. Go. Ten seconds, nine, eight.
Sally, I'm sorry the clock beat you on that one. I'll show you what it should have been. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. That's the thing. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. But you've done all right. You didn't beat our jackpot clock. But you two nice people have beaten our $200 clock. So let's see what you've won. A king refrigerator with seven cubic feet of cold space, a spacious frozen food compartment, and a big super crisper for fresh vegetables and fruit. Manufactured by the King Refrigerator Corporation and worth its weight in coal. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Seif. You've just won a Beat the Clock prize worth more than $200. My congratulations to you, too. You're a mighty nice to Happy anniversary again. Good night. Roxanne, who are our next contestants? I'd like you to meet uh, Judy Marshall and Mr. and Mrs. Dick Marshall from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Well, hi, Dick and Mrs. How are you? Nice to have you here. Hello, Dick. And this is, this is Judy, is that it? Yes. How are you, Judy? Come over here, honey, so we can all see you and hear you. How old are you? Seven. Seven years old. What are you going to be when you grow up? I don't know. You haven't made up your mind yet? No. Do you have any brothers or sisters? No. Do you like to play with dolls? Yes. Do you have any favorite dolls? No, I you don't. Know well, I have a doll for you that I think is going to be your favorite doll. Look at this. This is a Roxanne doll. And that's for you, honey. You see there? It's got Roxanne's name on her skirt. And, and that's just it's all little curlers there for her hair. How do you like that? I like it very much. Well, good. You take good care of her now, will you? Okay. All right, now, let's see. Mr. and Mrs. Marshall, we have a little stunt for both of you, if you don't mind, on the $100 clock. And uh, Judy, is that her name? Yep. Judy, you just stand right here and take care of your Roxanne doll, will you? While I ask Mom and Pop to come over here. Now, Dick, I'm going to let you sit down through this one. If you'll sit right in that chair, it's gentlemen seated this time, and ladies standing, facing your husband in front of him, if you will. And then Madeline and Betty are going to cover him up, and I'll take the soup plate. That's the idea. Real nice. Now... Dick, you want to raise the front of that up, I'll show you what I have here. It's a regular little soup plate, you see? But it's breakable, so be careful of it. Now, if you pull the, uh, the sheet down again over your head, that's it. I'm going to place the soup plate on your head. Uh -oh. now, I want you to reach your hands up inside, up in here, yeah. and grab a hold of the sides of that soup plate. That's the idea. Okay. Now, Miss Marshall, you take a hold in both hands of the front edge of that sheet. Now, here's all you have to do when I say go. Keep that soup plate on your head at all times while Mrs. Marshall gradually walks back away from you and pulls the sheet out from under it. Do you understand the problem? Just a minute, I'll be right back. You understand the problem? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, don't let it drop. If you do, we have to start over with another soup bowl, so be careful. Take a look at the clock, Miss Marshall. See how many seconds you have. 50 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Marshall, that gets you through the first one. That's through the, the $100 clock and brings up now the 200 And for this, I don't know, but what I'm going to ask you to take your jacket off, uh, Dick, because you're going to have to do a little work on this one. You just sat down on that one. Yeah. But on this one, you are the guy that is going to do the work. Now, Judy, do you see that little tricycle over there? Do you think your daddy could ride that? Let's find out, <laughs> shall we? Should we put him on it, huh? Yeah. All right, come on over here with me, folks. Yes, you too, Miss Marshall. That's it. And Dick, you just climb right on the tricycle and have yourself a little ride. That's the idea. Now, I want to show you. Those two wooden tables are there to mark out the course. You have to start riding around those two tables in as near a circle as you can and keep going around and around those two circles. You must not stop at any time. Do you understand? Okay. Now, I'll tell you what happens. When I say go, you start riding around there, and then you, Mrs. Marshall, immediately start picking up all these items that are in here. You pick them all up, and you hand them to your husband. You see? And when he's got them all, every one of these items, and is still riding around without dropping any of them, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Let's get this unhooked here. You got something all looped together. There's a hat box and a bobo. Whoa, let's get... That'll be all right. That'll be all right. That'll be all right. Madeline, you want to get it? Go ahead. Be nice to have you get in the picture. That's it. Thank you, Madeline. Okay, now you start riding around, boy, while I take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 
45 seconds from the time I say go. You ready, Miss Marshall? Go. Hurry up now. We gave you your workout now, huh? Judy, how about, did you think he could ride that? No. I didn't, I thought he did right well, didn't you? I practiced yes. on hers. You practiced on her tricycle, all right. Now, since you worked for that one, your wife is gonna work for this one. This comes a time when the wife always tries the jackpot clock. So if you don't mind standing right down there, Dick, and I'm trying to have to tell you, you can't help your wife in any way. Think good thoughts for her, though. And Ms. Marshall, you stand right down that far end of this platform, if you will. I'll tell you when to get up on it. And in back of this curtain is our magnetic jackpot board. All of the words of a famous saying or quotation are there. They're held there by magnetism. They're all mixed up and out of order. You look at it, try to recognize the saying or quotation we're after, rearrange the words so they spell it out. We'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Do it in 20 seconds. Are you ready? Okay, open the curtain. Step up on the platform. Go. Take a look over here. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Marshall, your prize is Sylvania's exquisite console, the Montclair, with genuine hand rub mahogany inlay doors. Large 21-inch movie clear television with surrounding halo light for the greatest viewing comfort in all television. The Montclair is outstanding in performance and design. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Marshall. You've just won Sylvania's Jackpot Prize. My congratulations to you, too. Thank you. A good contest. Good night. Hi, Judy. <laughs> Bye, honey. Take care of your dolly. All right, Roxanne, who are our next contestants? But I'd like you to meet Mr. and Mrs. James Wilson from Madison, New Jersey, and they're celebrating their fifth wedding anniversary. Well, we've got anniversaries galore tonight. Congratulations to you, you. and many happy returns to you, Jim. Nice Thank to you. have you here. What about children with you? We have one little boy, three years old. He's three. You didn't bring him with you, huh? No, he's sick tonight. Oh, what's the matter? Well, I guess it's just a cold. Oh, it's I'm sorry cold. to hear it. Suppose he's watching? He Hope might he is. be. Well, I'll tell you what. Since he's sick, you wave to him right in that camera there so he knows you be were thinking about it. a good boy, Gary, for All me. Right. <laughs> Uh, who's with him? My mother. Oh, your mother. Disney Mother's Annie. come in handy, don't they? Yeah. Well, we find out what your problem is. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Jim Wilson, Madison, New Jersey. For the sake of that fine son of yours, suppose you come over here and show him uh, just exactly how agile and athletic you both are. Thank you, Betty. Now, there's a little story that goes with this. You want to stand on this side of me, Miss Wilson? Uh, this is a little sort of like a, a safety net that firemen might use, but it's small size. We've made it with rubber bands, you see, so it's nice and bouncy and nothing can break if it lands on it. Now, the story is that a friend of yours owns a doll factory, and the doll factory's on fire, and the little dollies have to get out. See them up there? All those little dollies? They can talk, too, I tell you. Let me hear, hear them talk. <laughs> See that? There they are, just yelling to get out of the fire. So, what I want you to do is you will take hold of it down there and with both hands, and you take hold on this side, that's it. The dolls are gonna jump out over the top of the roof there of the burning house, and you want to catch them on this little safety net. Now, be, be sure you move. Off come the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure you catch four of these dolls on this safety net. If you have four of them on there and you haven't touched them with your hands or anything, you've got to just touch them with this net, you understand? If four dolls are on there at one time, four on at the same time, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock, okay? I'll take a look and tell you how many seconds Sylvania says you have. 40 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Whoa, bounce, bounce. Caught that one. Oh, 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 drop one. Got one on there now. There's, 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 oh, there's still one on. Oh, oh, there are two on there. Oh, you dropped the first one. All right. One still. Easy now. There are two. Okay, here comes the third. Watch it. Don't knock the others. Oh, this shot. Another. Whoa. Oh, 
I guess you were right to take your shoes off of that. You move around a little better that way. And that brings up the $200 clock. And for this one, we've got to have real calm nerves and a very cool and steady hand and a careful eye on the part of both of you. Just exactly see how well your uh, sense of proportion is. If you both come over here with me for the $200 clock, you'll see what it is. You ever play pool, Jim? Yes, sure have. You do, huh? All right, come down here just a little further, if you will. Mrs. Wilson, I want to stand right about there. Jim, you come upstage of her right here, if you will, and face down. I'll show you why in just a second. Here's a pool cue for you. Will you hold it in both hands just like that? That's it. And hold it out fairly straight and fairly strong in front of you. And you take this one in your two hands. Step back just a little bit. I'll show you why you've each got those pool cues. Now, hold it fairly straight in front of you. The reason for that is this. I'm going to place this cup on that pool cue. You hold it there with your cue. Now, when I say go, what you have to do is, using only that pool cue, work the cup down along your wife's pool cue and hang it over the end of the cue. Now don't drop it. Take a look, see how many seconds you have to hang just one cup. 55 seconds. You understand what you have to do? Right. Are you ready? Go. Oh, bring another one. Here we go. Here we go. go right ahead, Jim. That's it. Tell her what you want her to do. Tell her when to bring the end up. Hey! 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 Good boy, go on back. <laughs> My goodness, that jackpot's really being attacked tonight. That was a good steady hand and nerve on both of you. Now again, Mrs. Wilson is the one that carries on now for the jackpot try. And again, I have to caution you, Jim, you can't help your wife on this one, and I'm sorry, but you can't help my mental telepathy, and that's about all. If you both stand right about down there, Miss Wilson, in case you didn't hear before when I spoke to the other contestants, in back of this curtain is our famous magnetic board, which is our jackpot board. You understand? For the jackpot clock. On it are all the words of a famous saying or quotation all out of order. You've got to unscramble them, move them around on the board, and spell them out from left to right till they read the saying or quotation we're after in 20 seconds from the time I say go, okay? Open the curtain. Step up on the platform. Go! Oh, no, you're getting wrong now. Come on. No, there's one mistake, one mistake. Oh, golly, I'm sorry. It was so close to your husband biting his nails off over here because I'm sure he knew what it was. If winter comes, can spring be far behind is what it was. Mr. Ms. Wilson, come in here because you've done right well tonight. You've beaten our $200 clock, so let's see what you've won. A beautiful half sofa from the Shaw Manufacturing Company of Charlotte, North Carolina. Two versatile pieces scaled to average room size with hair field construction for luxurious comfort, exemplifying the very best in Shaw craftsmanship. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. You have just won a Beat the Clock prize worth more than $200. My congratulations to you, too. Contestant. Uh, we have Mr. and Mrs. Greco from Mount Vernon, New York. Well, hi, Mr. Miss Greco. I'm not going to waste any time with you. Suppose you both come over here with me on the $100 clock. Have a very fancy little gadget here I want to show you. Now, if you girls will get them in their belts, that's the idea. This is for the $100 clock, and I explain what it is you have to do. Here's a ball on a string. Do you understand? When I say go, without touching the stick or any part of the ball or this paraphernalia with your hands, unwind the string until it is all the way unwound and the ball is hanging free and no part of the string is wound up. Do you understand? Take a look at our clock, see how many seconds you have. 45 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Oh, my goodness. We didn't even get it started. Now, wait a minute. Our time has run out. We've used up all our seconds and minutes. Now, you know exactly what kind of body motion you have to go through. You can practice this at home. Can you come back next week? Yes. yes. Okay, then you'll be our first contestants next week. Good luck to you at that time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bud Collier speaking for Sylvania, hoping that next time may be your time to beat the clock. Good night, everybody. This is a Mark Goodson, Bill Gottman production.
produced in association with the CBS Television Network. Roxanne's Gown, a Paul Parnes original. This is Vern Bennett reminding you to tune in every week at the same time for Beat the Clock. <laughs>